Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry, it's been a few days since our last today in Tarkov. Um, I don't like depriving you guys of frequent TITs, uh, and I know how much everybody loves frequent TITs, but sometimes things just kind of come up and I can't get you a TIT every day. Are we, are we past 30 seconds yet? Can I say tit officially? I don't know. Probably close enough. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but enough of the tit jokes for now. We'll get into the news. Real quick boring caveats before we get this. Most of this info is from TarkovChanges.com. It is not official BSG uh, patch notes or published by them. So keep that in mind with all of this. Now with that out of the way, let's look at all the official, unofficial, unlisted, stealth, hidden, secret changes from the BSG over the last couple of days. Not really. Maybe. It's classified. So first things up is the gas analyzer craft. This is gonna be great for those of you still struggling to find a gas analyzer. You can craft these at the level one workbench now. This craft takes about 16 and a half, 17 hours. Um, you need four AA batteries, a Geiger counter, two magnets, four wires, and one elite set of pliers. And then it'll let you craft one of these gas analyzers. So it'll take you a while to do all three if you need to find all three, but here's a saving grace if uh, you just need one. Now they've been busy removing more and more and more stuff from the flea market. You can go back and look at uh, old tits if you want to see what else they've done before recently. But in the last couple of days, we've seen both the Tagilla armor and face masks removed. Killa armor, so now his armor and his helmets you can't get in. As well as the AVS rig. And lastly, the thick case. Uh, this is a big one because this was a big boost of money for a lot of people. Some folks would uh, get this found in raids, sell it for you know, a two or three million ruble gain over what the barter cost to get it. You can't do that anymore. So you got to sit on your thick case for the time being. Will they make it uh, sellable in the flea market in the future? I do not know. We'll see. But uh, you can't sell it now. With this, they've also changed Punisher Part 6. Uh, this is the one where you have to kill people with uh, PMCs with an SVD. You can no longer do that in factory to achieve this task. You can still run an SVD in factory. You just won't get progression towards Punisher 6. So you'll be seeing SVDs around the map quite a bit here in the next couple of days and for the next couple of weeks as people push through their Punisher tasks. Woods loot has been increased by about 25% uh, on the numbers that we get from TarkovChanges.com. Uh, and then the Sturman spawn rate's been bumped from 25 to 27%. So not a huge change, but you may see them a little bit more if you run lots and lots and lots of woods because you're a weirdo. With that, they've added the RGN and RGO. These are the impact grenades. You can now get those out of Sturman stash. And hunting matches are now available on every map. They're spawning everywhere open world. They're not map specific. So we should see these showing up more frequently in the flea market uh, and getting cheaper and cheaper to buy. With this, they have turned down factory loot by about 10%. Uh, not a lot of people run into factory for loot, so I uh, don't see this as being all that big of a deal, but it's 10% less now. And then they've uh, changed the spawns on the Serve L Survival Lighter. That's a little orange one. There's a couple of barters for it, like the grenade case and stuff. It sells for about 10,000 of the vendors, so it's a good piece of loot, uh, but it's added to Woods and Interchange um, and Lighthouse, so it's been it should be spawning on every map now versus just a couple of maps. Now, another big one here that you've probably already realized if you haven't is they've made some pretty big changes to pain meds. They have basically debuffed all of them. Uh, Vaselines are now negative nine, which is up from negative five. That's both on energy and hydration. Golden Star Energy is negative 19. Golden Star Energy is up to negative 19, which is up from negative 15. The Analgan painkillers, the, the 5,000 ruble ones you can buy from uh, therapists, the pills, the four, four out of four uses, those hit your hydration at uh, 19 now instead of 17. And then lastly, ibuprofen has been moved up to negative 17 from negative 15 on the hydration hit. But with this, they actually buffed some of the other meds. The CMS and the Serve 12 kit are now better. Uh, the They lowered the max penalty and the minimum percentage, basically what it means is the amount of hit points they're going to take from you is lower. So when you serve up a black limb, you have less hit points. Uh, the serve 12 is now 60 and 72, between 60 and 72 percent of what your original uh, or what the arm length health was before that. And then CMS is between 45 and 60 percent now. So the last two quick things, we'll talk about recoils that they've adjusted. The first is with the FN SCAR, the 556 variant, uh, both kinds. The vertical recoil has been moved from 157 to 152. So a small recoil buff on those for the base model. And then the HK416, um, its recoil has been increased from 413 to 423 at the base. So keep that in mind uh, when you are, if you're an HK user. Now onto some things that uh, are not in 
Tarkov changes, just stuff that I've noticed uh, or have been, you know, put out by the community or whatever else to get you caught up on cases. Uh, probably not spawning in raid anymore. You're probably not going to get med cases, holodinks, uh, grenade cases, things like that out of mark rooms or any of the other places that they can spawn because you can't put them in your backpack. Plus, uh, for example, you don't see holodinks on the flea market. You can craft the others and you get them from tasks. Holodinks don't come from any tasks. There's no craft for them. The only way to get them is out of raid and you don't see any listed on the flea market. So that tells me that they are not uh, for, they're not spawning in, in, uh, in raid now. You can't get them for the time being. They've done this in the past. It doesn't last forever. I don't know what they're gonna do this time. We just have to wait and see. With that, talking about cases, they have changed the med case barter. It is the same before, but now it requires med tools, which they're more common to find. They're a lot easier than they were at the start of the wipe. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So keep an eye on that. Make sure uh, you know what you're doing, but it also gives you a use for any non-found and raid med tools you get out or because you died with them or whatever. And then lastly, um, guns and mags with banned ammo, you cannot sell them on the flea market. So real quick, I'll just show you an example. You get a little error message. You got my found and raid DVL, my found and raid 993. You cannot sell 993 on the flea market. If I go in and try to list this DVL, which we will list it for a hefty price in case I'm wrong, and this actually lists and they changed it in the last couple of days. But when you go to place this, you should get an error message. Yep, just like this. You'll get this error message. That's what it means. Either the magazine or the gun has ammo in it that cannot be sold on the flea market. So you just pull that out and then it will let you list that item. Keep that in mind. If you're having issues selling mags or guns, getting that error message, that's what that means. But that wraps up the video. Uh, I, a late tit's better than no tit, I suppose. So uh, hope it was helpful. Hope it gets you caught up on what's going on in Tarkov. And hopefully we won't get such a, a big glass. We won't have so much cleavage between the next set of tits. How about that? How's that for a, a pun or a joke or whatever? <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Wish you the best of luck. We'll see you in Tarkov.